When our Lord hung upon the cross, his enemies gave him vinegar to drink mingled with gall. Matthew 27 verse 34. But at the sounding of the third trumpet, many wicked men will die from water made bitter by the divine judge. According to Book of Revelation 8 verses 10 to 11. 10. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. 11. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters, because they were made bitter. At the blowing of the third trumpet, a star with the name Wormwood falls from the sky and lands on a third of the rivers and springs, making a third of the water toxic. The plant with the same name as the star, Wormwood, is a bitter plant often used as a metaphor for something bitter to the taste, though it is not usually considered a poison. The blowing of trumpets called the Israelites together for instruction numbers 10,3 or for marching, numbers 10,3-7, it summoned them to assemble for war Jeremiah 4 verse 1942,14, and to return from dispersion Isaiah 27 verse 13, it announced release. In the year of Jubilee Leviticus 25 verses 8-10, and here it announces judgment. The trumpet judgments are quite similar to the plagues which God sent upon Egypt at the time of the deliverance of Israel, though they do not occur in the same order. After the Exodus, Israel encountered bitter waters at Mara, which means bitter, and Moses had to purify the water supply Exodus 15 verses 23 to 27. But no supernatural purification will be available during the tribulation. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven. This occurred when a great flaming star fell out of the sky. Some Bible commentators believe that this may be a comet. If this is taken literally, a third ecological disaster is depicted. The trees, the grass, the sea have all been devastated, now the rivers and fountains of waters are spoiled. But a disaster affecting the water supply of mankind hardly seems a sufficient explanation of what happens under this trumpet. The events described must probably be taken symbolically, even though interpreters have varied widely in seeking to identify the fallen star. Simon Magus, Attila, the Scourge of God, Muhammad, and even the Jewish historian Josephus have been suggested. Some have identified the fallen star with the Antichrist. Others identify the star as Satan. Since the star that falls at the sounding of the fifth trumpet is an angelic being, it is possible that Wormwood is also an angel. But no star or fallen angel named Wormwood can be found in any other source. The clue to the interpretation is in Revelation 12 verse 12, where we read, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea! For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. The earlier part of the chapter tells how, in his original fall, the devil, the great red dragon, cast a third part of the stars, i.e., his angels, out of heaven. With Satan's fall from heaven, recorded incidentally in Revelation 13, a new woe is to be added to the horrors taking place on earth. Michael warns mankind that Satan's expulsion from heaven causes woe on earth. It is significant that the last three trumpets are specifically called woe trumpets. Revelation 13 lends strong support to the view that the fallen star is Satan himself. He is given the symbolic name of Wormwood, and he poisons the third part of the waters, 
which become bitter and result in the death of many men. The symbolism of the waters is explained in Revelation 17 verse 15, the waters are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. In other words, Satan's fall to earth results in the immediate poisoning of human life and society. The peoples of the earth take on the character of the evil one and become wormwood autu. Satan is bitter because he has been cast out of heaven. Men become bitter and many people die. We should not think it strange that a great burning star could communicate a poisonous bitterness to the waters upon which it fell. On March 21, 1823, a volcanic explosion in the Aleutian Islands caused the water to become so bitter that it was unfit for use. God will use that which he created to effect his ends. He put the stars in their places Genesis 1 verses 14 to 16 He knows how many there are Psalm 147 verse 4 And he has called each one by name Job 9 verses 9 to 10 And it fell upon the third part of the rivers The National Geographic Society lists about 100 principal rivers in the world Ranging in length from the Amazon for thousand miles long, to the Rio de la Plata, 150 miles long. The U.S. Geographical Survey reports 30 large rivers in the United States, beginning with the mighty Mississippi, 3,710 miles long. One-third of these rivers and their sources will become so bitterly polluted that drinking their water could produce death and upon the fountains of waters. One-third of the world's fresh water springs are polluted, and the name of the star is called Wormwood. The star is named Wormwood, meaning bitterness, undrinkable, which is the name of a plant with a very bitter taste. See Proverbs 5 verses 3 to 4, Jeremiah 9 verse 15, 23, 15, Limitations 3, 15, 19. Amos 5 verse 7. This pictures the bitterness of sorrow, great calamities, and death. Wormwood is a general name for the class of plants known as Artemisia. The rendering a wormwood derives from its association with medicinal use to kill intestinal worms. It is a perennial herb, extremely bitter, used in the manufacture of absinthe, which is used in France as a beverage, and it is much more intoxicating and destructive to the human body than ordinary liquors known in America. It is not really poisonous in the sense of being fatal, although they are harmful, but the Israelites dreaded their bitterness. When our Lord hung upon the cross, his enemies gave him vinegar to drink mingled with gall, Matthew 27 verse 34. But at the sounding of the third trumpet, many wicked men will die from water made bitter by the divine judge. How wonderful that in this day of grace God makes available to men the soul-satisfying water of life. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. John 4 verse 14 Now on the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost being will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke of the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive, for the Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. John 7 verses 37 to 39.